Hi, and welcome to this PractiTest film where we will go over PractiTest testing and execution modules. PractiTest lets you manage all your testing process, including manual and automated testing. You can write, edit, run and reuse your tests as many times as needed for your different scenarios and testing tasks. The two main testing modules are the test library, a testing repository where you store and manage all the tests you created or imported, and the test sets and runs, where you organize your test instances in groups according to your testing tasks and execute them. When creating a new test, you can choose the type of the test, scripted, exploratory, BDD, or automated test. Every test has default system fields and custom fields that can be created by the user. A traceability tab, where you can link the test to the requirements and user stories it is covering, see the test sets where it is being used, and the issues that were reported from it, and a history tab that shows the changes made to this specific test. Let's go over the differences between the test types. Scripted tests have individual steps to guide the different actions the tester has to do as part of the check. Each step can have a description as well as expected results. When creating the step, you can use parameters that can be defined separately later for each run. You can also call a step from a different test and reorder steps. Exploratory tests have test charter and guide points fields that will help the tester during the exploratory session. During the run, they will be able to log actions and findings using annotations. BDD tests have a unique scenario field where you can use Gherkin keywords to define your desired test scenario or scenario outline. The scenario name will also be the name of the entire test. Automated tests and results can be integrated into PractiTest using any of the three following methods. REST API to update PractiTest with automated test results. Firecracker, a tool that parses and modifies your XML test reports and updates the results automatically to PractiTest. And XBOT, PractiTest internal automation framework that you can use to run, schedule and receive results of your automation scripts. For each of these methods, you can create a test either manually or automatically. To run tests, we will go to the Test Sets and Runs module. Each test set is a group of test instances that you want to run together for any reason. For example, tests covering an epic or user story, your complete regression testing suite, or the nightly build run by your CI and updated automatically into PractiTest. A test set has two main areas. At the top, fields to help you catalog the test set, and underneath the test instance grid, where you add the tests you want to run. Each test set can contain any test type. To add a test instance, press the Add Test Instance button and choose the test you want to add. A test instance is a copy of the test you have in the test library that keeps the data of the original test but lets you reuse the same test multiple times. The instance runs data and results will appear in the original test traceability tab, letting you have all the statistics you need while using the same test multiple times in multiple test sets. To run the tests, press the Run button. In case there is an export test instance, you can also schedule it for later. Each instance and each run has customizable fields to help you track results and later on create dashboards and reports based on these fields. When running a manual scripted test, you will see the steps that were defined with a place to fill in the actual results and also add attachments. Each step can be set to one of the statuses in the bar. When a step fails, you can create an issue for it directly by using the Fail an Issue button. This will open a new issue within the Issues module in PractiTest. If your project is integrated with a bug tracking tool, such as Jira, the Fail an Issue button will report a bug directly into the external tool and integrate it back to PractiTest. You can also link your step to an existing issue in the system or in the integrated system. 
bugs that are reported or linked to a test instance will appear in the traceability tab of the original test. You can also modify steps while running your tests when needed. When running an exploratory test, you can add annotations to keep track of actions performed and the findings of your test. The annotations types are customizable and can be set by the project owner. As you test, add attachments, report or link issues, and of course, set the run status according to your results. When running a BDD test, a similar screen to the manual scripted test will appear, where every Gherkin keyword functions as a test step, where you can edit the actual result, set the test status, and link issues. When adding a scenario outline BDD test to a test set, PractiTest creates a separate test instance for each example row. When running an export automated test, you have the option to schedule it to a specific date and time or set it to run recurrently. When an export test instance is running, you will see its instrumentation and results inside the run window. To get more information about your export tests, go back to Test Sets and Runs window and choose the automation tab that appears only if export is enabled in this project. Here, you can see and edit the queue of the test runs the future scheduled runs, and the history. If you have XML test results from your CI-CD tool or your unit testing, you can use the Firecracker to update PractiTest with the results automatically. Firecracker is a unique tool using a configurable file that parses your XML results into PractiTest tests, runs, sets, and fields, and lets you control and modify the configuration with a friendly UI. If you run your automated test with an internal tool or any other tool such as Selenium, Cypress, SOAP UI and more, you can use PractiTest REST API to update all your tests from within your automation. PractiTest has an easy to use documentation to help you with this process and you can easily receive all your results in PractiTest. Managing all test types inside PractiTest lets you visualize your entire testing operation in a simple way using dashboards and reports. You can create different kinds of graphs for different stakeholders. For example, simple pie charts showing filter test data based on any field or any filter you choose. Time-based graphs such as execution progress to track test execution for a specific time period or planned versus executed graphs to show the status of your project in comparison to the original plan. And all sorts of reports such as tabular aggregated report giving you an overview of your testing status according to the parameters you choose. PractiTest visualizes any aspect of your QA operation, giving you better control over your process and the confidence to make better decisions faster. For more information, join our next training session using the link below.